Hello Goddess, I'm Rhea Pauly. I'm a channeler and an intuitive empath and I want to talk to you today about how to prepare for a guidance session with me so that you can get the most out of it. Uh, my guidance comes from the Goddess Mart, the Egyptian Goddess of Truth, Justice and Harmony. And she's my major source of connection to the other side. I channel her, which means that she comes into the right side of my body and I tune into that energy and bring through her wisdom. High frequency information, such as comes from Goddess Mart, is not going to be filled with doom and gloom. She is not going to give you bad news. She is not going to tell you anything that will drag you down or put you in a state of fear. If you actually go to someone and that's what they do, you need to walk very quickly away in the opposite direction because that is not in your highest good. If you're going to ask questions about anybody else during your session, you need to make sure that I have a photo of that person in front of me. If you're coming to see me in person, you can bring the photo on your phone. If you're having an online session, you can send me the photos before the appointment. It's important that the photos show the person fairly recently, a full frontal of their face so that I can see their eyes, windows to the soul, and they're, they're not wearing sunglasses. So I, need, I really need to be able to see their eyes. Now, remember that my guide Mart cannot be intrusive. That's the number one law of the universe, not to be intrusive. So you can only access information about someone else as long as it relates to your relationship with them. Even if it's your child and your child is an adult, perhaps there are questions that cannot be answered since that would be infringing on your, your adult child's free will and intrusive into their life. So just be aware of that. It's a great idea to record your session on your phone. If you're having your session with me online, I'm going to record it at my end because it sounds the audio is better and I will send you the link to that recording when our session is over. But if you're coming to see me in person, before you come, I would ask that you check your phone, find out where your voice recorder is on your phone and work out how to record. That makes it so much easier when you get here and we don't have to spend precious time working out how to use your phone and your recorder. My Guide Mart does not answer medical questions and she won't answer questions about how long someone is going to live, for instance. I get commonly asked those questions. It's not for you to know that. And one of the reasons why she often can't answer those kind of questions is because even if someone in your life is very, very sick or very old, their soul may not have made the decision about when exactly they're going to transition just yet. Sometimes that decision gets made very quickly and you might say at the last moment. I'm not a medical medium and I don't feel comfortable answering medical questions. It's important that you understand that just because I have uh, a direct connection to the other side beyond the veil through Mart, that that doesn't necessarily mean that you can talk directly to your loved ones. I don't do that. That's called a medium and that's not the kind of work that I do. And while you can ask questions about someone that you love that may have crossed over and Mart will bring through information about, about that, uh, that person, you cannot speak directly to your deceased loved one through me. Next, it's really important that you understand that to get the most out of your reading, you need to ask Mart questions. When you first come to me in the first few minutes of the reading, I'm going to use my intuitive empathic abilities to tune into your frequency and bring through any information I can using my psychic skills. But then I'm going to connect with Mart. And the way that you work through a channeler is that you have to ask questions. This gets back down to the whole point of not being intrusive. Mart will not give you information if you are not yet ready to ask the question. Sometimes people come and they, um, they throw out a question like, um, is my relationship going to last? Because Mart is all about empowering women, 
she will not intrude in your free will by telling you that your relationship is not going to last. She may want to tell you difficulties or challenges that are going to rise and if you ask her to, she'll tell you how you may navigate those difficulties or challenges. She may give you information about your karmic relationship with that person, but a high level ascended master as Marty is, someone from the higher realms and higher dimensions, a really pure teacher that is really in the light is not going to steal your free will by telling you what to do. That's not what this is all about. This is about giving you guidance on how to navigate your life with more love, more light, more purpose, more happiness and more peace. And so be thoughtful about the questions that you're going to ask and it's a good idea to write them down. You should come with several questions on hand. Sometimes the answer to questions may be short, sometimes it may be long. Um, and so if you've booked an hour uh, session, make sure that you can fill up that hour with some really decent questions. If you have any further questions about how to prepare for your reading, I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a message below or head over to my website and you can fill in the contact form there. I look forward to connecting with you.